So this is a video for the uh, kayak rental. This, I guess this is the fifth version of this on the ongoing for Visual Basic Shasta College Fall 2020. So this says the video tutorial adding menus and forms to the kayak rental program. And this is the fifth version of this. So in the sequence of video tutorials we provide so those are good to watch, and if you follow what they do in those videos, you can make the, the kayak program. Each type of student will have the, his or her window and matches his or her. So this is what I did with this. Part one, adding forms, the kayak, and part two, adding manager logon window. So on the kayak rental. So the thing is, the first thing you do is you change you actually copy the form in the first video the entire video is about copying the right way to copy forms so what you do is you take this section from your form and you make a new form because the old form will be from that 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 stuff will be this information here all the way down so my, I had to copy mine over in two pieces because I couldn't get all of them in, in one piece. But they, I mean, that's fine. So when you do that, you do that and you copy, you go here, you go to your thing, you add a new Windows form. And I think the first one we called, I'm not gonna add one. The first one, one we called from the main form because we changed the name of the original form to the main form which is this here this is your starting page so when you click on rent a kayak then that will take you over to this form which this is this is all this stuff is work works fine so let's just run it really quick and I'll show you how it works so it starts off on here you have to go and get your own image off of, uh, you can use Google Images, that's where I got that one. So if you click on rent a kayak, that takes you to the kayak rental form. And you can put in your kayak options here. Your calculate totals. And you have to put in the coding too, so the coding doesn't come over. So you have to copy the code over to the uh, two. So that exits, and then you got your different, you put on the, on your main form. Oh, excuse me, my breakfast. The your main form, you add a menu. That takes you to your kayak rental form. And the other one you have is your manager logon form. And this one shows you how to enter what your username is, and you hard code this in. And if you enter something wrong, you don't remember what your password is, then it also shows you how to enter. Sorry, the username is not on file. So if you enter in the right username, your password will be emailed to you. You cancel, it brings you back to here. So if we exit, we'll show you how this works. So the main form, the code on the main form. So you add your 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 menu box or your menu list up here, menu strip, I should say. So that's way down here under your menus and toolbars, your menu strip. When you click that, you can bring that up here and add a menu. Just click and then add. So then you go into there. I don't want to do that. So if we go in and look, this is your close, closes it. And then if you wanted to add something other, if you, when you clicked on file, that's where you would add here. I didn't add anything. So this is the form. This is when you click on managers. You dim the form as a new manager form. 
and then just show the form. So each one of these, these variables is a local variable. So that only works inside of this private subroutine. Just like this is name the same, and, and it's the name is the same as this, but this variable and this variable are different variables. Because this variable holds this instance of the rental form, and then it shows the rental form. And the same goes with the kayak, the rental form, so, so even though these, these display the same thing, these are two different variables. So that's the code on that. And you have to bring in, what is it, main form, manager form, manager login form, and rental form. So the main form, a lot of this is just copy and pasting. So your main form over here, this is the picture box. So that's in here under picture box right there. So you bring that in, then you have to put the picture and you, the, 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 what, how I did that, you just go to Google. Go to images and put in And you get a bunch of different ones here. And then like as one of these images, if you just right click on it and save the image as. And I that's make sure try to find one that's a JPEG. A, a G. You can also click on tools, go size, you can also put the pixel size in here, which if you, for example, if you wanted a 400 And that should give you something. You get that to work, a PNG would work too. PNG or a JPEG. So then you just save it to your your folder that you have your uh, see this is this is the one I used. I use a PNG, but I could add a new one, save it here. And then I would have to import that image, but I'm not going to. I'm just showing you how that, that's done. So anyway, if we go back to our program, that was the image I, I used. So that's how that works. This was from our original program, and then we copy and use that on numerous pages. So if you copy that, and you go over to your rental form, you paste it in there. And then if you go into the manager form, paste it in here, and then change that information. Oops. And we got our manager, do the same thing here, paste it into there. And then to get all these things to be the same color, and this is just the message label box from 
here. So that's that. If you copy this, you copy it over to your manager logon. So, but to get the 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 name for this, all you do is you copy back here and down here where it says back color. You click in there. You select all that. Oops. You hold Shift to select everything. Control Copy, and you click on whatever it is you go to the back color and then you just click in there and paste in there and press return and then that's what that's how you get the back color so for if i so you paste it press you get your back color so anyway and your code for your calculate the video shows you, oh yeah, you have to move your variables. I think they're already up here. Anyway, so what you do is you copy, you cut out a bunch of your code first for the, um, the main form. You cut out, but you copy this, this code and the, all this code from here down is pasted from the previous version. This is the calculate total. And that's, that's all of it. So anyway, make sure you save it. And you go through it again. So if you rent a kayak, select. And you can go to your customer. This goes to your rental form as well. And this, that exits. That goes to your manager login form. Oh, let me show you something about the manager login form. The manager login form. That, so the click button and the cancel button. Cancel is a little different. So... This is where you your hard code in your variables for as global variables, as that's those are your two Smith and manager. So in your login info, this is where you, is the text username is the manager name. Then dialog result equals Windows form dialog result equals OK. That's if it's correct, and then it closes the form else it gets a label that the username uh, password combination is not recognized and then in the cancel which is a little different to close the form it's meaning dialogue result so whatever the dialogue result is windows form dialogue result equals cancel and then you close the form and then the for the link Down here, password text. If it's equal to the manager name, so that's the username, it's then in the message box, you'll show a, an email will be mailed to you. Else, sorry, we don't have your username on file. And that's it for that. So, anyway, the dialogue result is whatever, whatever the user enters.
So if they click on the cancel, then the dialog result is cancel, which is a little bit different than if it's OK, which is up here. So anyway, I thought that's the kayak program, the fifth version of it. So you got to make one, two, three, four, five, five forms total. And then it, most of it's copying and pasting. Change the name of uh, the current form that you have to main form. But it explains that in the video. So if you follow the, vi the videos that are provided, you should end up with the same result that I have here. So anyway, I hope that helps. That's uh, the kayak rental program number five for Visual Basic uh, Shasta College, fall 2020. Thanks for watching. Bye.